sad sounding ding. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. All right. We are heading to the racetrack this morning. So this will be the second time that the F body has been raced. It's not a full day's worth of racing because my priority is to you know, run the event with Brian and the other guys. But she'll get, uh, she'll get a few passes, we'll put it that way. So this is the very first uh, public It's the very first public uh, autocross in the area, ever. So there's never been a open to the public, people can come and spectate um, autocross. And that's pretty incredible because we've been fighting for that for a long time, kind of getting no help from anybody. So to finally have finally have something like this happening, it's uh, it's pretty special. It's pretty, pretty damn ex exciting. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the track is really well set up now for, for its purposes. It's, uh, you know, Brian's got the control tower moved to the best, you know, kind of the best location I think yet. Uh, it's, looks like it's going to be its kind of permanent home. Oh, damn. Um, and yeah, so what that means is it's tucked away from the track a little bit more. It's not like right on top of it like it used to be. Uh, so now we've got the, the whole skid pad and that really made the biggest difference with the actual like real estate for racing. Um, before it was just strictly oval. That's all we had to, for usable space was the oval. And it could have been possible to do autocrass with that, but it just, wouldn't have had quite as much, um, I don't know, it wouldn't have been as, like, uh, diverse of a track, you know, it would have really just been, like, a lot of turns, um, simple things, kind of slalom, uh, but now, because we're using the, the road going in, we're using the skid pad, um, there's, like, 180 degree turns, there's, like, um, you know, the, obviously there's slalom, there's, uh, sort of, like, tight boxes, um, it's actually pretty, pretty dynamic, so that's super exciting, great track layout, um, and the control tower is now tucked in the back, and it's got, like, literally everything set up, it's got a TV screen in the lower end where the concessions are, uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome, upstairs is obviously where the actual controls are taking place, oh, love a six-speed, um, yeah, so it's, it's really good. Now, the hilarious thing is, of course, it's raining, and it's sloppy, and it's colder than hell out, um, but, you know, we're going to make the best of it, and uh, I don't know, we're going to have a lot of fun in the process. Hopefully, a few spectators are able to come, come out. I think my kids will hopefully be coming out with the wife, uh, as long as nothing, you know, too dramatic happens with them. That's, you know, you never know, toddlers, so anyway. Um, yeah, guys, uh, let's uh, let's get out there, get set up, and uh, I think we'll show you some of the racing. All right.
Oh, yeah. Hopefully 45. Nice. That's the goal.
guys. Well, that wraps it up. So we got a full day of racing in, and it didn't get crappy out until like the very end. <laughs> so that was awesome. The, uh, <laughs> I mean, the Camaro did surprisingly well. I actually set my best record, well, my best time, which was like a 44.2 something. It's great because I mean, the last time that I was out, I think a 46 was my best, 46 something. So I took at least two seconds off my best time. That was super cool. Um, really kind of comes down to like seat time, getting pointers. And I know that there's still a little bit more time to pull out of this thing. Um, it just comes down to driver skill. But I mean, I guess that's the case for everybody. You know, you put the best driver in the world in the shittiest car, they're still gonna run a decent time, you know? Um, but I think, uh, I don't know, I, I'm pretty stoked. This is obviously like the last racing event of the year. So I think next year, um, I'll probably do a driving, uh, driving instructional thing uh, at some point because I really want to get some pointers from, you know, from the pros. I think that'll be awesome. But yeah, this is an amazing event. Huge thanks goes out to Brian for going out on a limb, buying the place, and just like, you know, it's, it's an old shitty track, old oval track too of all things. You don't know how it's gonna work out, but you just, you got a vision, and you put the time in, and you get the people rallied around the cause, and it worked. It was really successful, considering the weather and the time of the year. A lot of cars came out, and um, it's actually, another another good point, it's, uh, it's actual, like, racing asphalt, too. So, even despite the weather being as shitty as it was, um, Way this thing is geared uh now we still ran really good times despite the cold and the uh kind of wet conditions but anyways guys that's everything so thanks for tuning in we'll see you guys on the next video